It's been a week since chairman of the Chinese Communist Party Xi Jinping assumed official control of China's government. And after initial meetings with U.S. Treasury Secretary Jack Liu, Xi is off on his first international tour, one that is giving a clear signal to the United States about where the two countries stand. In what many are considering a purposeful slight, Xi Jinping has begun his first international tour as the new leader of China, and the U.S. won't be on the itinerary. Xi Jinping arrived in his first stop, Russia, today. The meeting between Xi and Russian leader Vladimir Putin is seen as an answer to the U.S.'s pivot to the Asia-Pacific region. The Chinese regime and Russia have voted together on several major geopolitical issues, like the handling of Syria and Iran, often against the wishes of other members of the U.N. Security Council, in particular the U.S. Russia is also one of the world's biggest energy producers, while China consumes more energy than any other nation on Earth. During his meeting with Xi, Putin called the strengthened ties between the two countries a more just world order. Although Russia, under the Soviet Union, had officially been allied with China since the communist takeover, relations were often strained. Xi Jinping recently criticized later-day Soviet reforms that ultimately brought down Russia's communist rule. Xi's international tour will last till March 30th. His next stop is Africa, where he will visit Tanzania, South Africa and the Republic of Congo. While in South Africa, he will attend the fifth BRICS summit, a meeting between Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. China has recently surpassed the United States and Europe as Africa's largest trading partner.